his bank account. He has two stacks on either side. Oh, the courier! Iceberg, gotta be careful! He's okay, first to... lights the courier, now he's gonna turn around and okay. kills off the Shadow Feet! And indeed, he did lose the bottle! There goes his bank account. Yeah, there Seven. goes the lane. Right down the drain. Ouch! Yeah. No flying courier. Why? Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Oh! Oh, Gorits. Not having the rain of protection, he just melts to the auto attacks. Hero kills. Man, the brute. Like always want to fly scout it out up on the high ground over near the ancients. Can't even get a fissure off. There's a quapult at the ready. Does he try to deny to the neutrals? He will ask for no chance of that. He says, he uses the scream to secure the kill. Oh my god, his bank account is jeopardy. Just creeps. Everything for Bulldog. Well, no leftovers for Iceberg. I don't even want to look at the gold graph, but I'm, I'm going to do it, Winter. Oh, I kind of have to. It's my job as a caster, and I don't even catch Gorids getting smacked down top lane while that's happening. Shutting down him in the lane and stealing his stack. Everything going on. Gorids, he didn't dive in time. He may end up going down here. Can't even make it out. The burn damage from Wraithfire Blast. Enough to get the kill. The feed train is in. Man. Leaving the station and all, all aboard from Seattle. Lane, we see. Revenge going in on Iceberg once more. Fire Spirit's coming out, they're trying to turn this one around. Gory T jumps in. Just to be careful about the counterplay, and from the rear comes the spider. This classic Broodmother action. The this Alliance. Is, is this even an off lane Broodmother? It's a, it's a mid Broodmother. They, they rotate four heroes mid, they get no kills, they still lose their Shadow Fiend. They're about to lose Gory as Bulldog comes in, pokes him again. Further adding to the swarm. Man, what are they gonna do right now? They, this, uh, I don't the know. last. Probably oh, Otez, I was gonna say. Oh, nice duel, bro. Too bad. Too bad you can't. Gonna tick down to the soul burn. Bulldog dominating. In Goretz, is he gonna get a kill for his team? Maybe, but he's also likely to pay. S4 finishes him off. My nut survives. <laughs> Lives to tell the tale. They tried to burn him, but full on siege has his own blink to match it. They continue pressing in. Fissure will be there. No deny attempted. But they do harass Radiant's load a bit. Now Alliance, the way lies open if they want to go into Roche, but no, they swap Gorids from the high ground. And they finish him off easily. The Phoenix dead again, blinking in his Loda, smacks down another. The Earthshaker next on the list, and now Alliance in headlong pursuit. They're pitching a shutout here, and it doesn't seem like the Rejects will be able to respond anytime soon. He is a hefty part of their nuke damage. Rotating into position, a network of Spiderlings. In their path, then Ake will be there to break the smoke. Artez, Blink Dagger gets cancelled by the Wave of Terror. He's gonna engage, gets off a good overwhelming odds. The Quap Bolt, though, zones the rest of the squad back. Artez sprints here, there, everywhere, but kept alive by a cold embrace. Still isn't even bothered to duel. Maybe could get a kill off of this. Bulldog's ever so low, but he got the life still going. A quick winner for him. Iceberg turned into another aspect of the Bulldog Swarm. Bank score will be last. It's a triple. And we might see a 14 minute GG. I mean, this is just beyond brutal. Artez. Uh-oh. Nice blink dagger, buddy. Bulldog in pursuit has the ultimate. Hasn't even bothered to use it. Gonna get the kill just with the spiderlings. And uh, at the same moment, always want to fly. Just being picked off. This is feeling like a pub stomp. 5-0 and 10 on S4. CIS rejects. They they came out hot out of the gate. They didn't really play safe enough. It was just all these small little things that add up together. And I still another death. Trapped out and Loda hacking away here. Ha does he even have the armlet now being delivered? And while that's going on in the mid lane, my nuts going for the solo kill on Gory too. <laughs> oh, hey. It's out, but oh, there's your first supernova of the game. Loda jump in. They dust Bulldog. He's got the Orchid though. Oh, doesn't cast it in time. Fisher coming through. Didn't cut off the ultimate either. And Artez may actually be able to get a duel win. Well, 1,000 gold thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. No duel win though. Doesn't get the bonus damage, but he'll definitely take the gold. 2 to 21, your score. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Two kills away from four pushes in bottom. Alliance. Taking their time with this one. They got some good vision here. My nuts. He actually, he had a ward up on the high ground, but he's going to get caught out anyway. But the duel will give away. The first successful duel win of the game. They had two wards actually in position to scout that. Huh, that was really unusual though. They had vision there, but they still got caught. And they had a lot of notification. S4 up against Iceberg here has the ultimate. They go in with the Stun Winter's Curse right when he would like to finish the job. We'll get it done with one extra auto attack. Loda now on the chase has a DD rune available. On the back side of the fight is the Phoenix of Gords. He gets silenced. He could have maybe supernova Blinking forward. Oh. Follow up and at least pop the ages, but while that's happening, Loda's going hard in the paint. He'll find another kill. Gorids pursued out, finished off by S4. 
and the rest of the gang in a headlong retreat. Three dead in a 4v5. They only lose a support Lina who got completely caught out at the beginning. Alliance in cruise control. As they clip past the... It's so close that the line, the green line intersects the ward, but doesn't actually cross through the hitbox where they need it to be. And here comes trying to keep. They will try to keep Iceberg alive for now, but they zone back the Wyvern, and now they start to go to work on the Shadow Fiend. He'll attempt to TP out Loda, just hunting for additional kills on the backside of the fight, finishes off Vank score, and unable to escape was the Shadow Fiend, because Ake rotated in, I believe S4 okay. wasn't even there. Good luck, Frank. Level 17 oh, at 23 me. minutes, and oh, Artez on the run, slowed down, Blade Mail was popped. That will deter any additional aggression. And oh, always want to fly. He blew the Blink Echo! And now, they have nothing to defend the high ground, but they may get the kill on S4, though Winter's Curse is on him. Duel's on my nuts. Can they finish the job? Trying to! No! S4! Too much damage! He may finish off Vice score as well. Bulldog going to work. Solo killing the Phoenix Sun. It will successfully explode it. The Supernova, not to the liking of CIS Rejects, frantically buying back on the Wyvern, but he's got no Winter's Curse. And at long last, the nightmare will end. The CIS Rejects giving up. Four more kills with a buyback, a dieback also on the Winter Wyvern, so make it five. Make it six now with the Legion going down again. They threw whatever lives they had left at Alliance, but I mean this game, honest, let's be real, Winter. This was this was over at ten minutes, if not sooner. It's really no chance they can win the game anymore at this point. Where do you where do you see the biggest issues for CIS reject? They just didn't play the lane good enough. They made too much errors. I think off lane didn't go too well. SF got shut down way too hard. Probably the Wyvern would have just been better helping the SF as well. Like the Legion was fine in the bottom lane. On the I'm not sure though. I, I think the two biggest thing is the off lane gave up too many kills. The Phoenix died too many times. And SF lost his bottle, didn't get 